What's up resellers? I'm Rebecca and you're watching Rebecca the Reseller. Thanks for joining me today for a highly requested video and I don't normally have those, but the last couple of days as a result of whatever video I had up, a lot of people had responded saying, yes, please do this video. And this video is about how to photograph maxi length or floor length or long dresses, items of any kind, and get them properly looking in Poshmark um, in a square format, in the square, you know, format. And so I am going to try like a multi setup and I don't do those often because it's a lot of figuring out how everything is going to work and it takes a lot of work. <laughs> Sometimes I just can't devote the time to it. So bear with me. You are actually with Geo's baby monitor holder right now attached to my light. So hopefully this doesn't all come crashing down, but um, basically I have a maxi item up. It's a long dress, something I wore on a cruise. I'm not even selling this, just one of my dresses. And I um, have my light set up. It's against my photo backdrop. Now to you in the camera, it looks odd, but it's actually straight on. So it's just the way that the camera angles are. But so basically you want to be able to be as far back from the item as you possibly can in order to get the entire amount of it in yours. Now this apparently is going to just now be a prop because it's not charged and this is the only time I can do the photo, the video. I wanted to actually show it to you. But trust me, stand, I'm probably about eight to 10 feet back from the item. Now, if you don't have that amount of space, I don't know what to tell you. In order to get the full length of something, you need to be far away. So you may need to figure out a different place to do long items or something, or when you are setting up your photography area for the first time, you may want to account for the fact that you might have long items. That's what I did when creating this setup due to a lot of trial and error and problems previously. So. This is, you know, my latest and final setup that I've had for a while now, but it's not the first setup I've had. I've had several setups and in multiple rooms of my house. And so the um, command hook is actually high enough to where it allows for the dress to come all the way down and it's still about two feet off the ground. That way, if it was even longer, I would have more room. Again, I have my photo backdrop behind it. Obviously that's not something you need, but you do need a clear space. The biggest thing that you need when taking these kinds of photos is a clean and clear space around it. And so when you pull back, you also need that clean and clear space. So right now I have, I moved my desk and so this light isn't even the way it normally is. But so I would be back here, I would be taking the photo and the entire length of the dress would be showing None of this would be showing, and it's just a straight on photo of getting from top to bottom the entire thing. And now my challenge, because I have the photo backdrop, is usually when I'm taking long items, these sides get in the way, the sides of the paper, and I don't like to that, for that to show. So sometimes I even get a little bit lower, not too low because you don't wanna look like you're lower, but just a little bit so you can angle the camera forward and backward. You see what I'm doing here? Forward and backward so that it looks straight on and you're still getting all the white space around the item and the top to the bottom. So again, I apologize that this is not charged, but you know how to take photos. So the main thing is be far enough back and have all around it clear and when you're standing back, be straight on to get the full amount with the full white space around it and take your shot. Now, the ideal situation would be to take that shot in square mode. But if you can't, and I'll show you once I'm done with this portion, I'll go on my screen and I'll show you how to do square mode. Now, I only have an iPhone. I don't know what it looks like in an Android or some other such phone. So everything I can show you can only be on an iPhone, but I'll show you how to go into square mode in your phone's camera so that you can take photos in square mode to begin with. That would be the ideal situation. That's what I do. I open up my phone, I put it on square mode and I take the photos. Now, if when taking the photos of the long item in square mode, you cannot avoid getting other things from the side. And so you have, let's say an electrical outlet 
you have part of a shelf. Whatever you have going on around it, then square mode's not gonna work for you. So then what you wanna do is just take a normal, you know, top to bottom portrait photo. Just take a normal photo. It's gonna be long and skinny, longer than it is wide. It's not gonna be equal, it's not gonna be square, and we'll deal with it in editing and I'll show you that. And it's very simple and very easy. The main point <laughs> is get the shot right. Don't worry about what it looks like on the outside. As long as you can fit the entire item in your shot, you can deal with anything else later in the editing. So your main focus at the photography point is get the entire item in the shot. And that just basically requires hanging the item high enough up from the floor and standing far enough back. Those are really the only things. And, and perhaps as much clear space around it as you can. So those are the three main things you need to worry about when actually taking the photo. Then what I'll do is show you, I'm like looking over at my notes. What I'll do is I'll go on my phone and talk you through and show you the screens of how to do the square mode, how to deal with the square mode, and then how to take the long photo if you couldn't do the square mode and put that into the over app which will allow you to create a square photo from the long photo. And then I'll show you how to edit it real quick if you wanna know that for like brightening it up or something like that. So that's what I'm gonna show you. So stay tuned for that part. And so it happens that I recorded all of this with my screen sharing on my phone, but there was no audio. So bear with me as I'm doing this voiceover after the fact. So what I did was take photos of it in square mode and you should be able to see that here. Um, I'm trying to think of what else I did. <laughs> this is so hard to do. Um, but basically I'm in square mode. I'm taking the normal photos that I would, top, bottom, etc. And the main thing is just trying to line up your shot as best as you can. Um, I'm also taking some in portrait mode as well because you can always fix things up in the editing after, which I will show you. So again, I had recorded this footage, but no sound stayed with it. So just bear with me. Um, it's hard to actually see as I'm recording this what is going on, but it looks like I'm taking the normal photos, the top, the bottom, you know, just your normal types of things. Um, so I went from square mode to portrait mode, back to square mode again. Again, I only have an iPhone, so I don't know how to tell you how to do it in an Android, but I do believe that there is square mode as well in an Android. So again, here I'm just taking your normal photos, and then um, we'll be going back to the phone in a screen share portion to show you what I'm talking about. So there's all the different photos. There's the square, the portrait, and the square again. So take photos however you think it looks best. Try to stay in square mode if you can. That way you don't have to do too much editing, but if you can't get the full item in square mode, take it in portrait and we'll edit it later. So this is the way I edit. So I'm gonna go into the over app. It's that yellow app on the right hand top side. And you would go in, you want to start a new project and you want to pick a I'm waiting for it to come up so you want to start a new project by selecting the plus button at the bottom you want to pull up a white background you want to pull up a square or a one-to-one -one ratio which is what it usually already has open and available and now you want to go ahead and add a photo so you go to image at the bottom and you select the photo that you want to add. Um, so scroll through your photos, find the one that you're going to select and put in. And I realize that usually I edit for brightness first. So we'll just keep going through it this way and then I'll show you how to edit afterwards. But now we've got the square shot in here and you can go ahead at the bottom and click on the controls so that you can crop this down. So you want to crop and crop custom and then drag in the sides to cut out anything that is in the background of your photo that you don't want. 
and then that just gives you the photo that you want. You can make it bigger. And so the portrait photo now becomes a square photo. So that's how you're able to get a portrait photo into square mode if you couldn't take it in square mode to begin with. You can crop anything, you can customize it. And again, normally I would be brightening this up first and then putting it in here. Then you just want to go through and save it. And that's your photo. And so that's what you can actually upload into Poshmark as your cover photo. Again, this particular one doesn't look the best because it hasn't been brightened up. Um, now we'll go ahead and I'm gonna show you how to do the editing. So I go into Pick Tap Go, which is one of my favorite brightening photo editing apps. Select the photo that you want, click edit. I use the preset either bright side or lights on, or I think the other one is shadows. And you just wanna brighten up that photo. And then you can go ahead and save that photo to your phone. And then that's the photo that you could use to bring into over and crop it down and use it as your cover photo. So I kind of did the steps a little bit backwards. I do apologize. It's just hard for me right now to make videos, let alone in order, let alone doing it again. Um, so again, going back into the over app, I'm going to edit this, start a new one, pick up that white photo background. It's already in the square mode. That's what we need. Select the photo. Now we have the brightened up one down here. There it is. And we're gonna go ahead and select that photo that we need, put it in there so it's a little bit brighter. You're gonna make it bigger. And so again, you can take the photo in portrait or you can take it in square, whatever works for you. However, you can get a nice, good, clean shot and then put it into the square background using this over app. So it allows you to crop the sides out. So if you do have a shelf on the side, if you do have an outlet, whatever, you can get rid of all of those things in the editing. So don't get too hung up about your photo process. And then here is, what am I showing here? Oh, now I'm just kind of creating the rest of the listing. Um, so, sorry, I'm watching this again, <laughs> trying to figure out what the heck I was trying to show you with this screen share. So it's basically just adding in the photos to show you the listing on Poshmark. So these are the other photos I took and Obviously, you know how to do listing on Poshmark, but this is how you go through the entire process. And so it's going to get the listing all set up and it's gonna put all of your photos in there. But at least now you have a cover shot that is clean and clear, is as bright as you can get it, has the entire dress included, and is in square mode with white space around it. And so really, that's all you can ask. It doesn't have to be perfect. Some items look better than others, but I feel like this is the best that we could do in the situation. It's bright, it's clean, it's clear, and that's what the buyer would need to see. So again, don't feel like it has to be perfect, but I do think that there are a lot of people that it can improve the buyer experience and their sales if when selling these long items, which maxi dresses and maxi things are very in style and people love them, if you can show them in a nice way and make them presented well, you will get a higher dollar amount, you will get more sales of them, it will just work out a lot better for you. So again, I do really apologize guys that this particular um, video was kind of all chopped up and that the voiceover came after because right now I'm just kind of like, why am I showing you this <laughs> still and I'm talking? So maybe I will end this clip here and then move into some of the additional examples that I wanted to show. And so here I just wanted to show some examples of the different ones that I've done this way. And you can see some of them come out better than others, but I did kind of just want to scroll through my closet, pull up all of the maxi length things and show you that this is actually how I do it. I take a square shot or I take a portrait shot. I edit it down for cropping it and for brightness and include it in that square format in the over app. Thanks for watching. I hope this is helpful. Leave me a note in the comments below.